Um, so I'm at the Guanica Puerto Rico Fire Station uh, uh, with the Liberty Foundation and Energy Storage Solutions, as well as the fire department. Uh, so we have uh, our solar system and battery storage system uh, here, uh, which powers the whole station. So when Hurricane Fiona hit the island two weeks ago, our solar system provided power for 11 days, and that's when the, the grid came back. Uh, so the firefighters were able to uh, receive 911 calls, operate their station, respond to emergencies. And so how the system works is that the, the, the sun powers the station during the day, and then at, and, and as well as the batteries, and then at nighttime or when it's cloudy, the batteries power the station um, fully so that the, the firefighters can continue to operate. So the Liberty Hotspot allows the firefighters to monitor their consumption as well as the production of solar power so that they are able to um, monitor the, the energy that they're consuming. Um, so the, the Liberty Hotspots allow the firefighters to um, interact with the system um, so that they can have power for all day and all night. So if we don't have the Liberty Hotspot, then the batteries will become drained. So if, if we don't have the Liberty Hotspot, the firefighters do not know how much energy they're consuming. And once the batteries become too low, the system turns off and the station won't have power. Or they have to turn on their diesel generator. And as, as we know on the island after the hurricane, diesel supply became an issue. So the fire department and the firefighters um, have to rely on a, on a system, on a generator that, that um, was very difficult to operate. Uh, so here we have the batteries, uh, which, which is the loads. It, it's, it's just like your cell phone. It, it um, provides power uh, uh, when the sun is not shining. Um, the gateway um, is, is kind of the, uh, the operations of the system. Um, so it, it uh, it communicates between um, the batteries and, and the station. And uh, the inverter here, th this, uh, this tells us about the solar panels. So it tells us, it communicates the solar panels and, and how much they're producing. And if there's any issues with one individual panel, then it won't affect uh, uh, the rest of the panels. So, so there is, um, there's, uh, this, the system is really protected. Um, it really protects itself and it allows us to um, uh, uh, for, for if something goes wrong in one part, it won't affect um, the whole system. So the application, so, so with, with the, with the um, Liberty Hotspot, you can, um, you can uh, see how much you're producing or how much the, the solar system is producing and how much the station is consuming. And you can also tell uh, if the grid is, when it comes back online, if it comes back online. Uh, uh, so so that you can, you're, you're just aware of, of what's happening um, in your station. The firefighters uh, need to know, um, you know what is going on um, in their environment so that they can respond effectively to emergency calls. Thank you, Liberty, for the donation of 19 hotspots to our solar and storage systems on fire stations, which have allowed the firefighters to monitor their energy loads so that they can respond to emergencies and have power day and night for the past two weeks after Hurricane Fiona hit the island.